right, so I want you to grab a mat, a towel, some water, and then an extra towel or ball if you had it. Um, just because um, I'm not sure if all of you have a ball at home, I'm gonna use a towel for some glute work later. So if you have a small kind of hand towel, that would be great. I'm gonna throw it to the side of my mat for now. And we're gonna start off lying on your back with a little bit of abdominal work to warm up. So you'll lie down on your back. <clears throat> Feet are gonna be on the mat. Feet about your hip socket width, arms by your sides. Now start off by drawing your shoulder blades down your back. Release your tail so you're in a nice neutral position and your low abs are pulling in and up. We'll do some deep breaths to start. In Pilates, we do what we call lateral breathing. We'll start with a quick little inhale, like you're sniffing a flower, and then exhale, contracting those ribs, I'm sorry, expanding those ribs, <sighs> pressing up. Okay, oh, a second, yeah. I'll do that again. So, we're gonna start off by sniffing a flower, and exhale, <sighs> breathe in into your lap. So we're gonna hold this shape, this nice contraction through your abs like you're wearing a corset or a tight vest. You're gonna slowly bring those legs up one at a time to a tabletop position. We're gonna bring the hands onto the right knee and extend the left leg out straight. Now I'm gonna be teaching these exercises with my head up, but if at any time you feel your neck hurting you, just leave your head down. So we're gonna use those abs and drop the sternum to curl up your head, neck, and shoulders. Maintain your shape, your hands will loosely grip on the knee, and on your exhale, we're gonna switch the sides. Take a little inhale, and then exhale, switch. Good, abs pull in, curling up the shoulder blades up off the mat. Good. I like to use my hands for a little extra support to get myself in the right position. You're not death gripping on those legs, but you're curling your chest up just a little bit higher each time. As you move along, you may start to notice your body's drifting down. Hold back onto the leg to lift the chest up just a little bit more. Now, keep moving like this, scooping out those stomach muscles like a hammock, sweeping those abs in and up, and then if you'd like a little bit more work as we continue along, hands will sweep behind the head. Good, continuing to move like this. So either hands on the knees for a little assistance or hands sweeping behind the head. Keep moving like this. We have three more, two more sets, one more on each side, and then draw the knees in towards your chest. All right, so we're gonna keep going from here Anytime I add on, same thing, you can always go back that same single leg stretch or else you're gonna pull those ribs in and curl up your head, neck, and shoulders as well. Hands and sweep behind the head. On your exhale, both legs extend. Inhale, bend the knees. Your chest is lifting to chase those knees. Good. I sometimes, once again, find my body wanting to drop backwards, so I will hold onto my legs for assistance. Use those legs to help me lift a little bit higher, and then I sweep my hands back behind the head. Always working to keep those ribs grounded and the chest lifted. Good, working to keep the tension out of your neck. Good, exhale as you press those legs out nice and long. Okay. We have two more like this. Last one. And then just draw the knees in towards your chest and give yourself a nice little squeeze. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna do that same exercise in rotation. So we're gonna take those legs to tabletop, turn out the thighs, knees and toes open, grab onto the back of the legs to curl your chest up to get you in that correct spot and then start to extend those legs out straight. Inhale, bend those knees. Exhale, push right back out. Inhale as you bend. Ribs close, abs tighten, extension. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. We have two more here, exhale, push. Inhale, bend. On the next one, we're gonna hold those legs up nice and long. Keep this position. Then you're just gonna point those toes, reach them across the room. Exhale, flex those feet. Notice how you can tighten your stomach a little muscle, a little bit more in that shape. Inhale, point those toes. Exhale, flex those feet, tighten through the stomach muscles. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. If you need that neck support, hands will sweep behind the head or the head will come down. Just make sure that your back's not arching as you're doing this movement. Good. And then bend the knees and draw those legs in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice little squeeze. So hopefully by now your abs are warming up a little bit. We're gonna continue on here. Right leg extends out straight on the mat. We're gonna draw the left leg straight up towards the sky and you're gonna flex those feet. Once again, the hands loosely grip on the back side of the leg and you'll curl up your head, neck, and shoulders. Maintain this position as you hover the right leg up. Now we're gonna flex those feet and pull the toes back towards you to increase the stretch in the back side of the leg. Draw that left leg in towards us for, and towards you for two little beats and then we'll switch those legs. So it's a beat, feet and then switch those legs. Feet, feet and then switch. Notice how I'm loosely gripping on my leg for a little extra support. Same thing, if you want a little bit more work, hands sweep behind the head. It makes the work a whole lot harder. 
Good, keep those legs moving. Good. And then we're just gonna sweep the hands behind the head and start to twist the torso towards the leg that's coming in. Now think about looking towards the knee that's coming in towards you. Think of your chest coming towards your knee versus looking around the leg. So it's a small rotation. Your emphasis is on the upward lift in the body. Good, we have two more sets here. We'll take a little break and then we'll add on. Good. <clears throat> Giving yourself a little break. So we're gonna add an option to lift up with the body a little extra and have a little reach in those arms. So you're gonna extend the right leg up straight, left leg extends up straight, hands behind that leg. Flex those feet and we're gonna reach the left hand towards that right pinky toe. Hold that shape like you're sawing off the toe with that hand and then we'll switch the sides. Really reach, try to reach beyond that leg. It's about trying to get that leg in towards your nose versus the opposite leg going down low. Lifting up the chest towards those toes. Noticing how my rotation is really small, but it gives it a little bit more work in your obliques, your side waist muscles. We have two more on each side. Good. And then just give yourself a little break. Good. So we're gonna start to transition into a little bit of planking work. I'm gonna take my hands behind my legs, using my stomach bones, and I'm gonna rock and roll myself all the way up to seated. All right, so when you're ready, you'll bring it all the way down to your hands and knees. We're gonna transition into this plank a little baby steps here. You're gonna pull those low abs in, maintain your shape with those hands right underneath your shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades pulling down your back and make sure there's a little bit of softness in those elbows. Now, your toes are gonna to curl, you're gonna flex those feet and you're just gonna lift the knees up about an inch. Hold that shape, pulling those low abs in. Notice how hard it is just to hold that shape without going to the full, full plank. We're gonna keep it here for another 10 seconds. Maintain your position with the shoulder blades pulling down the back. We have five more seconds here, drawing the shoulder blades down, low abs are pulling in. <clears throat> Go ahead, and then just give yourself a little break. Now that's always a great option. If for any reason your wrists are bugging you in this shape, you can do the same thing on your forearms. So hands or forearms, always be mindful that your elbows are right underneath your shoulders. <clears throat> when you're ready, the hands will come back onto the mat. You're gonna use those abs to carefully lift those knees up like you did before, and then we're gonna push back into a plank position. Hold this shape with the shoulder blades pulling down your back. Pulling those low abs in, we're just gonna start to shift the body forward an inch and back an inch, pulling those abs in. Going forward and back, small range of motion. Forward and back, we have two more. Good, last one. And then give yourself a little break. Hips drop back, rocking, rocking into a little child's pose, reaching through those arms. Ooh, the body should be feeling pretty warm by now. I know I'm feeling warm. When you're ready, so you're gonna hold, um, hands are gonna come underneath the shoulders and we're gonna push into a plank position. Now maintain the shape you have in your shoulders. You're just gonna bend the knees, drop the knees down, and then just push those legs to straight. So it's an inhale as you bend, exhale, push those legs straight. Be mindful of keeping the shoulder blades down the back your low abs pulling in. If you want a little extra challenge, you can do the same thing on your forearms, bending the knees. <clears throat> We're gonna do two more here. We'll take a little break before we put all those together. Bring those knees down, drop those hips back, and give yourself a stretch. <clears throat> all right. So let's put those two exercises together. <clears throat> Hands are gonna come all the way onto the mat. You'll bring it into a plank position. We're just gonna do five sets here. We're just gonna hold it in this shape. We're just gonna bring the body forward an inch. We're gonna drift back. We're gonna bend the knees, push the legs straight. That's one or more. Forward, back. Bend the knees, push down out straight. Forward, back. Bend the knees and press. Last two, forward, back. Bend the knees, straight. Last one, good. And then bring the knees down and we're gonna get ready to transition, transition into a little bit of glute work. All right. So this is what I want you to grab that towel that we um, talked about earlier. If you have a small kind of playground ball that would work as well, I'm gonna use the towel just because I know that everyone has this at home. So I just fold it in half, fold it again, and I'm just gonna keep folding it until it's a little square and I'm gonna pop it in between my knees. My feet are gonna be about my hip socket width and I'm gonna squeeze it with my knees in this shape as I peel down onto my back. Now in this position, my arms are gonna be by my sides, my feet are planted into that mat, and I'm gonna draw my ribs in and up. <clears throat> now on my exhale, 
I'm gonna slowly start to bridge my hips up, just taking a nice articulation in my spine just to kind of open up after all that plank work. My ribs are slowly gonna peel down and I'm gonna peel all the way down into the mat. On the inhale, I'm gonna hold it. On my exhale, I want you to scoop those, those stomach muscles in as you peel all the way back up and then peel it right back down. Now on the next one, we're gonna peel it up about halfway and we're just gonna hold it. Now you're gonna maintain your shape and I want you to squeeze and wrap your glutes really tight like you're making one cheek. Maintain that position and then squeeze that, um, that little towel in between those knees. Keep your shape and isometrically start to pull the heels back and that engages the whole lower half of the body. So you're gonna keep this shape, nothing else is gonna move and you're gonna wrap your cheeks just a little bit tighter. Now this is one of those exercises where you may be looking and seeing like, okay, she's not doing a whole lot of work. But when you're really squeezing with the inner thighs and those glutes, you'll feel a nice burn in the outside of the thighs. Good, you're gonna hold your shape and we're just gonna do little tiny lifts up with just the pelvis. Small movement, squeeze and lift. Good, squeeze and peel up. So if your feet are still at the hip socket width, they're pulling back, your knees are squeezing in, your glutes are firing, and then you're gonna hold it up. Nothing else moves and we're just gonna start to squeeze that talon between those knees. Feeling how those adductors, those high inner thighs start to warm up. Now be mindful of those hip flexors. Sometimes they wanna take over. So squeeze your glutes just a little bit tighter. Now you'll keep this shape, nothing else moves, and we're just gonna gently turn up those legs. So we're gonna take those legs from parallel and just turn up the thighs a little bit. Keep your position as you lower those hips right back down. Exhale, pull it right back in and come all the way back up. Good. And then inhale at the top and exhale, peel it right back down, articulating your spine. You'll peel it up on the next one, hold it up, and squeeze your booty as tight as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And you wanna feel like you can't hold it on anymore, that's how much your butt's squeezing. Let it out a little bit, and then exhale, squeeze and tighten your butt. So you're wrapping the seams of your pants around, you're squeezing your glutes in towards each other to hold your shape. Maintain this position, and then we're just gonna do little inner thigh squeezes, giving you a little pressure on that towel or the ball if you have it. Good, and then you're gonna maintain this shape. This time, hold those inner thighs tight, and we're just gonna do little tiny booty lifts squeezing just through the base of the glutes by the hamstrings. It's small, it's controlled, and you're working on not using your hamstrings too much and working your glutes, your butt instead. Now you'll keep your shape, hold this position, and just press your heels in, but let the toes come up. Lower those hips all the way down towards the mat, and then exhale, curl right back up. Inhale as you lower. I know sometimes when my hamstrings are tight, they'll want to seize up here and they'll cramp. If it's too much, just place those toes down. Exhale, curl and lift it right back up. Still pressing with the heels as much as you can. And then you're gonna hold this shape and squeeze your booty about 10 times harder. Let them out a little bit and then exhale, squeeze and tighten your butt. Let them out a little bit, exhale, squeeze and tighten. Hold it here and then just start to squeeze those inner thighs. Inner thighs are squeezing towards each other. Just that small movement should fire everything up in the lower half of the body quite a bit. Now you're gonna keep your shape and just press those toes down as you lift those heels up. Maintain that position with the hips staying um, stable. We're just gonna lower, I'm sorry, hips are gonna roll down. Exhale, curl it right back up. Good, inhale as you lower. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Same thing, if you feel a ton of hamstrings and calf, lower those heels right back down. <clears throat> so you're lowering and lifting. Now up the top, hold this shape, squeeze and fire up your booty as much as possible. Squeeze and tighten your butt as much as you can and let it out a little bit. Exhale, squeeze and tighten, wrap your butt and let out a little bit. Exhale, squeeze and tighten, hold it, and give me fast little glute, I'm sorry, inner thigh squeezes. Squeeze it in with the inside of those legs. Feel those inner thighs really cooking. Hold your shape, and little tiny lifts up. Just from the base of the glutes by your hamstrings. Continue on with that movement. Good. And then you're just gonna bring those heels down, and we have one last set here. You're gonna walk those feet all the way in together so they touch, your feet are flush. Once you're in that shape, you're gonna turn up the legs so the heels come crazy glued together. And then bring your, your hips all the way down to the mat. And then this time, bring them way up high, like a full bridge. Peeling it right back down. <clears throat> Exhale, squeeze and tighten. Still making sure your ribs are closed, your abs are in. All the way down and all the way up. Good, really firing up your booty. Exhale, squeeze and lift <clears throat> and lower. Now when you peel up at the top, you're gonna hold it, crack walnuts with those cheeks. Nothing else moves, a little pelvic lift from here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna hold it here and you're gonna start to squeeze those inner thighs. Now right about this time, my butt starts to feel a little stupid. It feels like it doesn't wanna fire. That's totally normal. You wanna feel like your butt's kind of fatiguing in this shape. Try to keep it on as much as possible as you lower your pelvis all the way down to the mat. 
keep those inner thighs tight. Squeeze your glutes about 10 times harder as you bring those legs up to a rotated tabletop. Now you're gonna maintain the shape. You do have that towel still between the knees. You're gonna lift up the chest and we're just gonna extend those legs out nice and long. Inhale, bend the knees. Noticing how much your butt has to fire as you extend those legs out long. So it's a very slight rotation of those legs. Exhale, push. Inhale, bend, putting everything together, your abs, your glutes, those inner thighs. And then when the legs extend out straight, we're gonna hold them straight, keep this shape, and we have 10 little chest lifts. It's 10, lift up the chest. Nine, notice my shake. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go into a little bit of um, my favorite work, um, side line glutes work. So you're gonna lie down on your right side. I'm gonna use my towel that I have here just for my, my head. And I'm gonna line up my hips and my shoulders so I'm in a nice straight line with my body. Now, once I'm in this position, I'm gonna draw my knees in towards my chest just a little bit past that uh, 90 degree angle, so a little bit more in towards you than you'd expect. I'm gonna lift my top leg up and turn my leg inward. So it's kind of this kind of fun inward rotation shape. Now I'm gonna take my foot and I'm just gonna let my foot hang as floppy as I can so the lower half of my leg isn't very involved. Taking that leg, I'm gonna drop it in front of my top, uh, bottom knee and I'm gonna exhale, I'm gonna lift that leg up in this position. So just to lower the leg and an exhale, squeeze and lift. Now what I'm immediately noticing in myself is this hip is lying to height, so I'm shortening my waist. So in this position, try to keep your body as long as possible. Like you're wrapping the seam of your pants once again towards the middle of your cheeks. Squeezing the muscles outside the glutes as you lift and lower that leg. So we have four more in this position, squeezing that cheek. <clears throat> Good, two more. On the next one, we're gonna hold it. Keep your shape, fire up your butt, and just extend the leg out nice and straight. Now wrap your glutes again, the foot's still in the inward rotation, and you're just gonna bend the knee, squeezing your glutes. So you're wrapping the muscle outside the cheek and the thigh. Exhale, push the leg out straight, and then inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, push it out, squeezing from that glute. Inhale, bend. I like to try to get as close as I can towards the floor every time, just to get a little extra work in that glute. Every time that leg's extending, I'm exhaling, pushing the leg out nice and long. And then we're gonna extend the leg out nice and straight and hold it there. Keep this position, the glute's still on, you can just hold the shape is tough, and little tiny lifts up with this leg. Now, when we're doing this, if you're like, okay, this is way hard, I'm feeling my, boot, my booty firing up, I don't know how I'm gonna sustain it, you can always bend the knee a little bit and break that connection. Or else the leg is long, squeezing that glute. Good, I know I'm gonna feel these tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna hold it here in little circles the size of a golf ball with that leg. Squeezing the glute. Think of your leg circling in the hip socket like a little cocktail straw. It's just kind of spinning. Got it? <clears throat> and then just reverse the direction opposite way. So your body's long, you're squeezing that booty as you circle the leg around in the hip socket. We're gonna hold this shape and then we're gonna draw a rainbow with the leg. The leg's gonna come up and over, <clears throat> tapping behind you, and up and forward. Just a little up and over, and an up and forward. Good, still in that foot hang as floppy as possible. Now, there's a tendency to wanna swing the body forward and back here. Instead, tighten up your stomach muscles and just lift the leg, but maintain the position in your core. Tighten your stomach muscles to hold the shape. Good. And then you're just gonna bring the leg all the way down. Then we're gonna switch the sides. <clears throat> so you'll flip over to get the other glute. It's not uncommon for the second side to feel just a little bit harder because it was supporting you on the first side. I'm gonna do this opposite side. You're just gonna lower the leg down, squeezing your glute and then lifting the leg up. Wrapping the muscle in the outside of the cheek of the thigh, really feeling that booty burn. Good, squeeze and lift. Waist is still long, you have this little mouse hole on the side of your waist. And then you're gonna hold the thigh where it is. Keep this fixed with your foot just hanging floppy. Extend the leg out nice and straight. Inhale, bend the knee. Your leg is gonna want to drift back. See if you can keep it forward and just let the leg be as empty as possible as you extend the leg out straight. Inhale as you bend, exhale, squeeze your booty to extend the leg out straight. Inhale, bend, exhale, push. Good, bend, you're doing great. Squeezing that glute, hanging in there. This side's usually a little bit harder. And press. So you're gonna extend the leg out straight, hold it straight, lower the leg down almost to the floor. You'll feel that burn going slow as you lift it up a little bit. Lower it down, exhale, squeeze and lift. Lower it down, exhale, squeeze and lift. Wrapping through the glute. Lowering it down, exhale, peel it up. Lowering it down, exhale, squeeze and lift. 
Woo! Lower it down, exhale, squeeze and lift. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling this. You're gonna hold it up in little circles the size of a golf ball, squeezing that leg. Legs are circling in the hip socket. Woo, feeling that booty burn, keeping those glutes closed, your back nice and long, low abs pulling in, and then reverse the direction opposite way. Squeezing those cheeks even more as you circle the leg around the hip socket. Woo, good, that's it. Good, and then we still have our rainbow. So you're bring the leg down and up and over. <sighs> leg lifts up and forward, <clears throat> and then up and back, squeezing the outside of the glute and the thigh. Good, lifting up and over, and up and forward. Three more like this. Up and over, up and forward, two more. Up and over, up and forward, last one. And then bring it all the way down. Now we're just gonna roll onto your back and take a nice little stretch here because those glutes should be nice and tight. You're just gonna take that right leg, cross it across your left, and just draw those knees in towards your chest. Feeling the stretch of the piriformis, the muscle that runs right at the base of the glutes by your hamstrings, and also on the gluteus maximus. So you're gonna hold that shape. And then we'll switch the sides. Good. Sometimes I even like to rock gently, but release the muscle if it's not wanting to let, let go. Bring the um, feet to the mat, knees are closed, abs are in, hands on the back of the legs, and we're gonna curl back, tighten the stomach muscles, focusing on your waist. We're gonna bring those hands just to a spot where you feel like you can almost get those arms all the way straight, and you're lightly touching on those legs, trying to keep the feet as flat as possible. Now you're gonna hold this position and just start to slide those hands back towards your ribs. Arms extend out nice and long in front of you. Pulling those abs in, pull the ribs back, and then bring those arms in front. Now maintain this position with those low abs pulling in, arms come back, and then forward. Now when you're moving here, you might find this is a little bit more challenging. You can hold onto your legs and then feel the body back instead. So option to bring your body back instead of holding and bringing the hands back. Now we'll keep this position and just start to draw that right elbow back by the side of your body. Inhale, bring that arm forward. Opposite side, bringing the right arm back. Right arm comes forward. So it's just incorporating those obliques a little bit more through the waist. Good. Abs are on as you bring those arms back. And press. Good, one more on each side. Warming up those abs. And then just let those legs extend out straight and melt forward towards those toes. Now we're gonna roll onto your left forearm to do some side planks. So you'll bring it onto your left side. Your left foot will be forward in front of your right on the mat. You're gonna bring that left forearm down. Now it's actually, I find easier to bring it onto your hands, but I like to be on the forearms just to get it out of your wrist. You're gonna maintain this position with the hips stacked. And on your exhale, we're gonna bring it up into a nice side plank. We're gonna hold it here in this shape, pulling those low abs in, ribs are closed, shoulder blades pulled down the back, feeling that lat engagement on that left side, and we're just gonna hold it. Keep this position, we have 10 little lifts from here for 10. Taking those abs in, nine, ribs are closing. Eight, low abs pull in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it all the way down. Now we'll switch sides here, right forearm comes down. This time your right foot's forward in front of your left. When you get into that position, the right elbow's underneath your shoulder, your hips are stacked, abs are in, and we'll lift right back up. Maintain this shape, holding it here, shoulder pulls down the back, and little lifts up for one. Ribs are closed, two. Shoulders are melting, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And give yourself a little break. Oh. Well, that concludes our workout for today. You all did great, I'm sure, and we look forward to seeing you back here again soon at Circle Fitness. Um, my name, once again, is Dory, and hopefully I'll see you back soon. Thanks.